Hello and welcome to another video by www.electricalpereview.com. In this episode, we're going to be covering the difference between RMS and peak voltage. The problem reads, for a three-phase 69 kV 1200 amp system, determine the three-phase peak-to-peak voltage. So we assume that this is going to be 69 kV line-to-line, -line, since it's three-phase, and since it's asking for a peak-to-peak -peak voltage, we assume that this is our RMS value. So if we start with our RMS value of 69 kV, we can go to our peak value by multiplying by the square root of 2. This gives us a peak voltage value of 97.58 kV. Now to get to peak to peak, we simply multiply this number by 2. So 2 times 97.58 kV. We're left with 195.16 kV. And the 1200 amps up here, of course, is a red herring. It doesn't apply to this problem. So this is our answer of 195.16 kV peak to peak. And we draw it out here. This is our peak voltage value up here of 97.58 kV. This is our negative peak value of minus 97.58 kV. And it's going to look something like this. We're just going to draw a single period of our voltage. And here is our equivalent RMS value that the problem gave us. This is 69 kV. This is our peak voltage of 97.58 kV. And this value from the top peak all the way down to the bottom peak is going to be our peak to peak voltage of 195.16 kV. Pretty simple question. Um, anytime you're asked for this, the only thing you need to know is your starting voltage, either if it's going to be RMS going to peak to peak or going to peak, or either peak or peak to peak going back to RMS. Don't let any other values such as amperage or apparent power throw you off. It's simply a quick calculation. Okay, that's it for this video. For more examples and to visit our premium review course, come see us at www.electricalpereview.com.